Today I'm going to show you how to tie a pheasant tail soft tackle kabari. Uh, this is a variant that you can do. You can always do different colors of uh, your hackle on this. I like to do a red head on it, but you don't need to. I like to tie this on an ML062 moonlit hook, size 12. It's my favorite for Sakasa Kabari. I'm just going to be using some red Semperfly classic wax thread. I really love their ADOT thread. Get a layer of thread down. And we're going to take some thinner copper wire, tie that in. I usually try to wrap that just kind of soft and wrap it in. Doesn't have to be super tight. And then I do it tight coming back. And then we're going to take some pheasant tail. Uh, just the natural color. You can change this up if you want. Do some other color. So you can get a few strands of it here. We're just going to tie it in at the tips. And I'm just going to kind of build up the head here just a little bit. That way when I wrap everything back, I kind of have an idea of the proportions and where everything is at. Looks good. Just gonna whip finish that just to keep it in place. I mean, I can move it out of the way here up front. Then we're gonna take our pheasant tail. And wrap that. Just don't pull it too tight. You don't want to break it. Sometimes when you're wrapping stuff, there's not a lot of room between your thread and your hook point. Just tip it forward if you got a rotating vise. And I'm going to take this wire and wrap it the opposite direction that I wrapped that pheasant tail. Keeping it tight. Just gonna 
helicopter that off. Maybe. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my hackle. I'm using some Brahma Hen uh, Dark Done, Model Dark Done. It really is a great color. You could use the natural modeled gray or use partridge or, or anything else you want to use. A ginger would look cool on this. I'm just going to pull off all the fuzzies here. you do your wraps. Sometimes that happens. You have to start your wraps over. Take these stragglers that are sticking back, pull them forward. Looks like I missed one there. Instead of dealing with that, I'm just going to cut it off. tie in some peacock. Now, there's lots of ways to secure peacock. This is one way I've learned over the years is to use super glue. So I'm just gonna I am just one strand. It's going to come up here, start it wrapping just a little bit. And then I'm just going to whip finish my thread right here and cut it off just right in front of the peacock. And then what I'm going to do is take some super glue, just put a little A little drop. Just be careful not to get too much on there. And put a little drop on that side and a little teeny drop on this side.
wrap this forward slightly and then wrap it back from there. Let's wrap it kind of slow. That's probably about the end of my super glue right there. I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit. You can see it's just holding right there. So I'm just going to cut that extra piece off where it's not glued on. there you go super tough for the peacock there a great pheasant tail sakasa kabari